Did seeing that man lose his life disturb you? Did it hurt? Well, let's see how you handle this. He's just getting angrier and angrier that Mark is not realizing that he's never going to lose. I wanted to put Mark in a place where he was experiencing something absolutely horrific just to solidify his position against his father and to reaffirm his humanity. We wouldn't really accomplish that if we hadn't gotten into it as much as we did. Oh. Nolan realizes that he will have to kill his son. Mark isn't going to stop. Mark isn't going to change his mind. So Nolan has to make the choice, Viltrum or Mark. In that flashback sequence, you see Debbie, and you see her role. Look at Mark. Strike one. You and I, we made him. When he feels joy, we feel joy. She brings him around to recognizing the joy that a parent sees through watching their children live. So you see what Nolan would say is a poisoning of Earth life on him. And then we get to the line. Are you, Dad? I still have you. I think it encapsulates everything about this series. Even after this fight, even after everything that they've been through, Mark still sees him as his father. There's an inherent willingness to forgive. And Nolan decides not to kill Mark, and I'm hoping that it gives the audience a sense of the turmoil and conflict that's happening within Nolan. Dad. He is able to have the human version of Nolan win out in this moment. And the only thing that Nolan can do is retreat. And I think he's as confused and as shocked by anyone about his inability to kill Mark, to do his mission like he was trying to do. So I think this is why he just kind of leaves, because he doesn't know how to deal with the emotions that are coming at him at that point.